Alright guys, good morning. Um, this morning, um, we got a guy coming in to tint these windows. Um, I mentioned it in the previous vlog that we get a lot of sun that comes in and it's hot and plus it bleeds, it fades our shirts. Alright guys, so the tinting guys got it all tinted. It is nice. And look at that. They got that done in like, I don't know, an hour. But man, it's nice. As you can see, see that it's 20% tinted. And that's not tinted. So now it'll keep the UV away. Keep UV out. And let a little light in at the same time protect all of our apparel here so there you have it guys ha ah, you know it's nice they do a good job man I think I paid I don't know 400 some bucks for yeah so they'll bill me it's like 400 some dollars I think for these two or these yeah these windows here it's well worth it you guys so all right, and there you have it. Uh, on this video, I'm gonna take you guys to Zach Sales and Services. Um, it is getting to that season, snow plowing season. And I just wanna give you guys some information and some plow options to put on your trucks and why each plow is um, unique and different and um, which plow is right for you. We got the boss boss plow mount on this GMC uh, we got the stainless steel blade on that one 92 I think and then this one we haven't put anything on it um, I think I'm gonna just put a mount on that one so I'm gonna have Zach sales and services do that put a mount on that and I am debating of going with the boss V spreader for the salt spreader instead of tailgate because this one has a tailgate we've been using this one we use a tailgate um, salt spreader for the last I don't know few years. Um, I think we got the Snow X. We got a hook up for the tailgate, the Snow X tailgate salt spreader hooked up on this one and the other truck, uh, my other black truck. So I'm gonna take you guys along to give you guys some information and hopefully it helps you guys. So let's go. guys 
So we are here at Zach Sales and Services and Zach is the owner. How long have you been here? We've been here since 2010. Okay, and we're in Sherburne, Minnesota. Yep. What sure. brand do you carry here? We sell the Boss Snowplow systems. Okay. We sell all the pushes, we sell all the salters, all the all the blades, we do all the service, all the installation, right. all the technical help, whatever okay. whatever's needed with it, full service right. um, shop with them, not just a Okay. A buy yard, or a, you know, yeah. sell it to you and not talk to you, or not know anything about the product we're offering. Right. Um, and so you also got trailers. You sell yep. H and H, H and H, and Aluma trailers, trailers. Um, okay. and Banky built trailers, B and B trailers out of Farley, Iowa, as well. We try to be that small town right. business, you know, but on a Big, on a large platform, large you know, yeah. so deliver what you're used to in a small town as far yeah. as customer service goes and right. uh, knowledgeable and quality. Yeah quality product product that's okay. being offered so, um, yeah, today so then we're yeah. just gonna show you guys around of the plows that he's got here in stock and what they're used for here is our seven foot six HTX V plow okay. this is gonna fit your half ton market so Chevy Silverado's Ford F-150s Ram 1500 Suburbans Tahoe's Expeditions are okay. uh, you know just a small amount of platform there the Toyota Tundras are gonna fit um, Boss also offers mar uh, mounts and wiring systems for the John Deere 3046 or the John Deere 30 series tractors mm -hmm. and the 40 series tractors. They have uh, mounts for a couple Kubotas. They're kind of expanding that. Um, you used to have to kind of custom build your own mount. So take something and sit and fabricate it for a few days to try to make it fit a tractor. This is an easy application. We ran this one last winter here in the yard ourselves mm -hmm. and at home. I really like it. You know, as a hydrostatic tractor, your wheelbase is so much less than a pickup, but you have about the same weight as a half-ton truck. Um, so you're in and out easier. Uh, no concerns as far as wrecking a transmission in a truck when you're really kind of ramming around on it. And some guys in the homeowner application or the hobby farm application might already have a tractor. This leaves the plow on their tractor instead of their everyday pickup. Um, very impressed with what that is. Uh, 46 horsepower tractor pushes that blade like nothing there mm -hmm. um, they're becoming very popular as well I think we've sold three of those already for half ton vehicles for the year okay uh, what size you said that was seven foot six, seven foot six okay. yep and it really offers a, a nice width for that tractor series and the same on the pickups it gives you that ability to to have a little bit more than just a straight blade mm -hmm. on your half ton pickup for your light jobs or your littler jobs okay um, Maybe your commercial guys that are, you know, that they own their own property, they're cleaning their own apartment complexes mm -hmm. and they're just, you know, they're not, they're not for hire per se right. outside of their own, their own applications. Okay. Um, my go-to blade, the blade that I prefer on my trucks is a 9.2 Poly XT. Uh, very universal, very, very versatile blade. I like the Poly better than steel, even though it's a little heavier. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like it just looks better longer. So I, I feel like this, you know, the scratches aren't rusting. There's not a lot of component trees to worry about as far as painting goes. Okay. Um, I like the 9.2 because it offers protection to my vehicle. So it gets that snow farther away from my truck. So I'm not worried about damaging running boards and tearing up doors, you know, from a nice chunk that rolled back. Right. Um, where guys start to make the decision between 8.2 and 9.2 is storage. If they have a narrow garage door and they want to be able to get it into that garage, mm -hmm. They'll go with an 8.2 over the 9.2. Um, more guys are venturing towards the 9.2s instead of the 8.2s. So okay. We're selling far more of them than the 8.2s are. But the 8.2s still serve their purpose there. Yeah. Um, so in my opinion, an 8.2 will bust through drifts better. Right. So the 9.2 is just like when I had that dually. Yep. The and guys, then when you got the dually, you want to clear your, your yeah. tire width. Yep. Yeah, the tire width. So you get out to your width of that dually. Right. So it works out really well okay. in that application. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, the, the 82 is obviously a punch through it better because you got less blade That's trying cool. to go through, so your truck doesn't get, right. you know, you don't run out of power or mm -hmm. momentum as easily with an 82 as you do with a 92. Mm -hmm. To each their own. It depends on the kind of plowing you're doing and where you're okay. working and how you're doing it. Something really cool with the with the Boss plows that they came with a year ago or two years ago now is the LED headlights. Yeah. 
they have built-in heat strips to melt that okay. that light uh, the snow and ice off of them because um, the LEDs don't give up that much right, heat. They don't give out the heat like an incandescent. Right. What a guy, a lot of guys are noticing is that they've gone and added mm -hmm. LED light bars to their plows. Well, as soon as they ice up, they're, they're yeah. no good. They're not doing anything for you but glaring. So they really made sure they came with that properly. Mm -hmm. um, the hook and unhook of the Boss plow, in my opinion, is the best on oh, the market. Yeah. If there's nothing else about the Boss that you don't like, mm -hmm. you know, if. If everything else compares the same as far as the other three guys go, the hooking and unhooking is so much faster than the other brands right. out there. Um, no jacks required on the V-plow. Mm -hmm. On the straight blades, there's still a jack that you gotta pick up, but the, the V-plow will hold itself up, mm -hmm. sets its mount right where it needs to be for height. Two pins to hook and unhook. Power hook, you know, power hook and unhook, so you're not sitting there fighting, trying to get the pins right. unlocked, or trying to kick a tab to open it. It's very efficient. Okay. Um, because we, we bought that EXT, right? We, yep. we love that it's wide. It yep. looks great. Um, but we always, I always turn back to the V-Plow. V for some reason. It's the the V-Plow, to me, it seems more versatile. Yep. Like you can and in your line the, application, the EXT would be like another skid loader. Yes. Well, with your four mm -hmm. skid loaders, you don't need right. a fifth one. Mm -hmm. So the V-plow for you is going to punch it open more. Yeah. It's going to clean around thing. It's going to do a little and bit more. Um, yeah, push it, stack push it a little bit higher right. than the EXT will. The EXT is nice when you're in large areas and you need to yeah. windrow large parking lots. Mm -hmm. And so if you're just working straight back and forth, the EXT yeah. is nice. You pull in, you put your wings out, yeah. and you leave them out till you're done. Yeah. That's what and it do. also works better in lighter, smaller snow applications. Mm -hmm. So when you only have say five inches or less right. that's going to wind row and clear much faster than a v plow is because you're at 10 yeah. feet instead of nine feet mm -hmm. um yeah so there, there's the ext has its purpose yeah you know there's its like the place v -plow. for the ext right. where the mm -hmm. v plow you can go ultimately a guy has one of each yeah you have a v plow to get it opened up yeah and then the ext can come in and wing it off right um the v plow helps clean up the scoops and the end trails a little bit better mm -hmm. um oh, yeah. and i yeah, it's all in preference in what kind yeah. of snow you have. I notice a lot of times, depending on the region and the and the application. Mm -hmm. You know, the Twin Cities they buy a lot of DXT snow plows. Right. Down here in rural area where we're doing a lot more gravel, the DXT becomes problematic. Oh, yeah. And I'll show you what can happen on a on a DXT when it's used improperly and in the wrong application. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, so. So yeah, the the third V plow we got here today is on the side by side this is a six foot six utv v plow uh, everything here is the same as the tractor mm -hmm. so it's the same pump it's the same controller it's the same wiring you run right from your cab full operations like any other blade uh, you know v scoop don't have to get out to do anything this is very popular on a kubota with their uh, hydrostatic transmission guys will set it up with an exact drop salter and they'll just send that out to do sidewalks all they just run down the sidewalk one way come back salting as they're coming back on their last pass it's efficient in my opinion the small right. wheelbase the the cost of one more you know it's not mm -hmm. not that uh terribly expensive and they might be using that side by side for other things throughout the year other right. than just plowing snow okay. um so these these two are more of the light duty work yeah these are going to be small you know tight spaces mm -hmm. um, maybe you already own a piece of equipment you know mm -hmm. you already have a side by side or you already have that utility tractor that you want to set up mm -hmm. and so then these okay i can put a plow on that and i don't have to put it on my truck right there are certain guys that trade their truck every year and so when that expense you know, oh, yeah. of, of swapping it over every year, having to maintain a second vehicle just to have a plow mm -hmm. when they have one of these two vehicles already at the yard. Right. Um, makes these a nice application. Yeah. The, yeah. So they'll work, they, there's a lot of applications here. There's a lot more than just the Polaris that right. they're offering mounts for the okay. most machines. And the, and the easiest way to find out, Boss has spent the time building a nice website with the product selector built in. Mm -hmm. So you go in and you punch in the information, and then it tells you what they recommend okay. for your plow if there's a mount available for your pickup. Right. If you don't get somewhere with that, reach out to your dealer. 
Okay. This same blade that's on the tractor, again, that'll do all your half tons. Okay. Um, this big guy here is a 12 foot backhoe push. Okay. You'll see the curve of the blade that helps keep the snow rolling. The more the snow is moving, the harder, the bigger the push you can make, the smaller the machine you can use to make that push. Mm -hmm. um, Boss features pivotable wings, so the wings are going to adjust to the ground. You have four sections of cutting edge there. Each one has their own trip mechanism. So if you catch something there, that one's going to trip, but this one isn't going to trip. So it's mm -hmm. very similar to some other competitors at a lot less money. This blade, you're around 6,500 bucks. Okay. Um, also features a floating mount. So how they recommend you do this, and you can get a universal mount if you have quick attach on your loader, but you drive in with your bucket. You have one hook welded in your bucket and chain from here to that hook. Well, now these are going to float up and, okay, down. up and down. So if you can't quite tell, are my feet on the ground? Am I sitting level? This is going to allow that adjustment. Plus, when that machine hits a high spot, this allows this to travel, okay. keeps it to the ground, keeps the cutting edge there. So you're not getting a second pile. You got to come back and clean. You don't have to slow down to try to go through this right. rest of an area. And then there you can see the. So this would be used for like big parking lots, open space, yeah, whatever. Yeah, large areas, guys mm -hmm. that are running loaders, yeah. big loaders. Um, the unique thing here, Boss likes to share a lot of parts okay. from machine to machine. Right. So these springs are being used on all the V-plows or the trip springs. Okay. Works out pretty well. Um, so you have less, you know, you can keep just a couple parts on hand instead of mm -hmm. a spring for this and a spring for that one and a spring for... The mm -hmm. next one, everything's kind of integrated parts, so you're sharing back and forth. A blade they came with last year is the 92 XT, which we put on your truck last yep. year. Um, I like the stainless yeah. if you don't want red. Yeah. I you like got a truck stainless. that just red doesn't look good on, mm -hmm. it's kind of an accent thing. Okay. I really like the way it. Yeah. I just like what they are. I like the color, it's different. Mm -hmm. Um. But performs the same as a yep. okay. as a poly XT does. This poly is our our two year old demo, mm -hmm. and for me, you can just notice that the you know they're it's scratched and dinged a little bit, but yeah, it's still clean. it's still clean. It still oh, works yeah. well. It functions as it needs to. Mm -hmm. You can see in the center where the steel is that the paint's coming off, and you're getting a little surface rust there. Right. And so if it was a steel blade and it had as much use as that did in the gravel, it would the whole mold board would be rusty and polished up. Mm -hmm. um, so I guess <clears throat> for the new guys here that are thinking about getting a you know set of plows and stuff on their truck, um, what what would you recommend? You know, always go boss. Go boss. And then every truck is always the uh, you know the application that fits your needs the best. Right. You know if you only doing your little bit stuff would get you into a steel blade over a poly just save a little bit of money here and there yeah. um, some guys don't need the flap many yeah. guys love the flap some guys don't need shoes you know so everybody's application is it's different, different and it's a uh, trust your dealers recommendations mm -hmm. you know the dealers gonna listen to what you're right. doing for the most part um, and if they're not, find a dealer that is listening and understanding right. what you're asking for and what you're looking for and if he's answering the questions right. Mm -hmm. um, so it, it is important for dealer relationships, you know, to have you, the right equipment. You need to be a one-on-one -on -one yeah. with your sales rep oh, yeah. and your service department at your dealership, especially if you're trying to make money with it. Yeah. Because um, I know when we were down, you know, during the winter months, I'd call you up and say, hey, man, we broke this. Okay, get it in. Boom, yep. we're out, back out. We try so. to be very efficient in that. Yeah. We try to keep the commercial guys in and out in less than an hour, keep mm -hmm. them moving if there's something we need. We try to keep all the parts right. that are necessary mm -hmm. on hand. Um, mm -hmm. We're working in frigid temperatures. We're working oh, yeah. in less than ideal weather oh, and yeah. scenarios. And so things are going to get broke and things are going to get damaged. So mm -hmm. your service should go far farther right. than your sales does. So if the plow is, if you're $3,000 cheaper on this blade, know mm -hmm. that you're going to have more problems. Right. Because they're using inferior yeah. quality components that are going into that. They're using less um, 
you know, maybe bosses found that this motor performs better in the cold temperatures, but they had to use a heavier gauge wiring right. to do it. The next guy isn't doing that testing, mm -hmm. you know, so your cheaper plows aren't doing that and saying, oh, who cares, we can put this motor in, it functions fine right. when it's 30 degrees, but when it's 20 below, mm -hmm. it acts up, or the cylinders leak, or the seals aren't tempered for the right, right. the right setting. You'd be shocked at how much rubber is out there that's only rated for 20 degree temperatures. You know, mm -hmm. hydraulic hoses, certain hoses are only rated to a certain temperature. Mm -hmm. Well, you're running hot fluid through a hose that's sitting in 20 below weather, you're gonna yeah. have more hose failures when you're using the wrong application there. Right. Um, so have that conversation with the dealers. Mm -hmm. This DXT is a, is a big learning lesson for me. I sold this to a guy not expecting to have the problems he had. So it's kind of right. egg in my face. Um, I sold it to a hog, he, he plows hog barns. Okay. He's a, he raises hogs and he has to plow it all of his sights. Well, he set his shoes a little bit too low. Right. Because I didn't explain it well enough. And so there was a lot of pressure on the shoes. Oh, yeah. The next part of it is, and it's worse on this side. The next part of it is, the cutting edge trips on the DXT. Yeah. And so in a rough terrain gravel setting, that cutting edge continually is chipping and it put pressure on the on the shoes. Right. So all four shoes were carrying the pressure. And we ripped all four shoes brackets off of the off of the plow. Uh, and so this is key to Where are you using proper it? application. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so we're gonna end up replacing all the wings. Everything else about the plow is physically fine. Right. We're going to replace the wing sections. They're on order. They're okay. coming in. We'll get it all updated and fixed. We ended up buying it back from him because it was, it was on me. It was my, my fault. Um, we were sold out of blades. It was the last blade I had. He was adamant he was leaving with a blade. Yeah. And I sold him what I shouldn't have sold. Right. And I didn't explain it to him that this... And I didn't understand it either that there was that yeah, potential that of failure me. like that. Yeah. Um, so we stood behind it, we took care of it, boss is standing behind us right. to take care of it as well, that it, okay. it is what it is. Right. Now we know. Oh, so yeah. that's why most of our yard is XTs instead of DXTs. Right. Most of our guys are doing gravel. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So you guys, there, Zach has quite a bit here. If you're in the Southwest Minnesota area, it's got a lot of selections here. So I've gotten a few blades from him and we're gonna install I think a mount on ours not sure if we're gonna get a blade yet but we need a mount on the uh, new truck so there you have it you guys the video um, on the plows I love my V plow I love my boss V plow if you guys like this give me a thumbs up hit the subscribe button and yeah go give Zach sales and services a follow I'll put his Instagram account down below in the description you guys so thanks for watching